Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling guys. So today I just want to quickly, quickly come on here. I'm just like in my YouTube room just finishing up, straightening up some stuff and I wanted to talk about tailoring your clothes. Um, you guys know I'm tall. I got some stuff tailored recently and I just thought I'd do a video. I am going to do a separate video showing you guys what I got tailored. But as a tall woman, oh, the struggle of finding stuff, guys. It's like, it's such a hassle finding jackets that fit all the way down our arms. It's a hassle to find pants and jeans that fit us. Um... And tailoring is something that I always do. So I wanted to tell you guys some of the things that I actually get tailored and things that you can get tailored if you don't think that you can. So first thing is I always research areas when I move into to find a tailor. If I move out of state, this is the same routine. So you find a couple of tailors that you like um, and see how good they are. Then make your decision. It's almost like going to the dry cleaners because they're all not created equally, guys, because I swear to God, some of them do not clean your stuff. So I pick a few that I like, and then I actually go in and, you know, analyze the outfit, see how much they actually listen to me. Um, as a tall girl who's not, like, super big, um, as far as, like, hips and things, legs and hips <laughs> I actually um, make sure that they listen to my needs right so if I buy something with pockets for example I make sure that if the pockets are sticking out way too much I have them take that in right if I buy a pair of let's just say boyfriend jeans or mom jeans whatever they call them I have to completely size up to like a size 14 guys just so it can be loose on my legs, but I have them take in the waist. And they don't just take in the waist, they actually cut the pants in the back and they bring them up, they do a whole bunch of stuff to them. So as a tall woman, guys, it is important that you are paying attention to those things. Everything is not made for us, we know this already. Um, so instead of being frustrated, just actually go ahead and find a tailor. My jackets my blazers, my coats, anything. I size up because I can't do anything with something that's too small for me, right? I size up um, and then get it taken in. Now, I bought a Zara jacket. It's probably in here, but I'm gonna do a video with it. Um, and for whatever reason, they sent me, I ordered an extra large, but it was like humongous, like humongous. It didn't say it was oversized, um, but the, it was huge. It looked like a, well, when they say extra large, I'm thinking like a standard extra large, not a 1X. So what they sent me was like a 1X. Um, so I had her take it in a lot, and the sleeves was okay. The sleeves were just hitting me at the wrist, which was fine um, for this particular jacket because it's satin. But I had her take it all the way in. It looks really, really good. Um, I like I said, I am going to do a video with that, but this is really more so about the tailoring part. So my blazers, um, now, I just asked her recently, could she do jeans, lengthening the jeans? And she told me yes. So, I'm going to do an experiment where I'm going to take some jeans to her, um, something cheap. <laughs> And I'm gonna get two pair of jeans and see what she can do as far as lengthening the jeans, right? Um, I seen a lady on YouTube do something to her jeans to lengthen them, but I didn't like the stitching across it because you can see it. So I have an idea of what I think she should do. Um, and guys, I'm telling you, if she can do this for your girl, it is over for everybody. <laughs> Cause it's so hard for us to find pants. I'm um, skirts and stuff are okay um now that i'm thinking about it i have another idea because i can probably do because here's the thing i'm gonna keep it a hundred percent a lot of brands that carry tall clothes that specifically cater to tall women i do not like the quality i don't like the fabric of the things um a lot of the pants like the trousers don't have pockets like it's just a no-go for me so for me 
I am always gonna remain stylish um so I'm always gonna find a way uh, so I'm thinking I have another idea about a dress <laughs> that I can possibly have her do as well um, I've seen her take dresses and turn it into fancy fancy stuff so um, if I can figure out what she can do to my trousers and jeans as far as, far, as, far as the length um, I'm gonna really take a lot of my stuff there and then I wouldn't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff either so what will probably happen is I'll probably end up having to buy two items two of the same items so she can kind of put them together which is still okay right because if it's a great quality outfit I'm not gonna have to rebuy it again if it's tailored to fit me right so that those are just struggles that we have as tall women it's, it's no joke out here guys because these brands do not cater to us and I wish that I had a bigger following because I have a lot to say about this and there's kids that like shoot up in like small like young like young kids they shoot up I shot up in the fourth grade fourth grade I was I was at the back of the line I don't know what happened over the summer but my behind was taller than everybody and it wasn't a, I didn't care but I just realized that I couldn't wear the things that my friends wore so it was a struggle for me um but I learned very very early on about tailoring um and it's because I lived in New York City and I used to shop in Soho and West Forth a lot okay and back then they were getting a lot of stuff made um t uh made to fit so you know down there it's a lot of all people <laughs> um, so they would get their stuff made so a friend and I will go down there look at up get get some clothes and take them down there and get them done for us um, she was tall too so we just kind of like stuck together with that but it's a struggle for us guys and if you are tall even petite you guys have the same struggle like us so as a person who's stylist it's just it's literally the same struggle just the opposite literally their things are too big on them, they have to get them tailored, right? Um, average size women, you can tailor stuff, but you don't have to do much to it. Just a little nip tuck, right? <laughs> but for the petite and the tall, plus size, I will always say this. I think plus size have a lot of nice things. I see it all the time. Um, and I'm just like, where? what happened to the tall women? It's like we're a, such a small demographic. It's not fair. However, I'm not gonna let it get me down because I will remain stylish. Like this top that I have on, this is from Theory. I don't know if you guys can see, it's just a plain, it's a really nice top and the sleeves are, let me see if I can pull them up. The sleeves are like, kind of like bell and it has a split on the side. Um, theory is a little pricey, but I don't have problems with shirts like that. Not, not as much as um blazers so for whatever reason blazers are made so weird to me like the sleeves are so short i don't know but those are some struggles that i have but tailoring guys i'm telling you it's your best friend best friend best friend and then we got shoes shoes is a whole nother thing but <laughs> this video is about tailoring so you can tailor your jackets you can tailor your shirts um oh i'm just having all these ideas in my head right now about what she can actually try for me shirts uh you can tailor your jackets blazers um you should be okay with hoodies and stuff because usually those are made like really big um pajamas and stuff i wouldn't even try to go get them tailored you can find extra long pajamas um as far as taking them in maybe the waist because it may just be too big right uh other than that that's it your trousers your jeans your skirts if you and this is what I'm gonna have her try. If you see a midi skirt or dress, and it's not meant for tall women, I'm thinking you can probably take two piece, two dresses and get them stitched together somehow. <laughs> Listen, I saw the lady do something to this lady's dress and I'm just like, okay, she's good. So she's gonna be my new lady. Um, guys, just look for a tailor, trust me, it'll be your best friend. It's not that expensive. Now, here's the thing. I think she's a little pricey. I think she's a little pricey, but I like her. I think she's a little pricey. But normally, they're, they're not that much just to get certain things a little nip and tuck. It's not that bad. So, think about a tailor. Let me know if you have ever worked with a tailor or a seamstress. Um, is it something that you're interested in or you just don't care about how the clothes fit you? 
or you don't have a struggle if you are 5'9 and up. If you don't struggle, because I think 5'9 women, you should be okay with buying clothes. Like, you're probably just making it. <laughs> uh, and maybe 5'10, but mm, maybe not 5'10. The struggle is real, guys. <laughs> it's real. But, you know, it doesn't stop us from being stylish. And I would never let it stop me from being stylish. Um, style is something that's unique to you. So, if you have it, you just have it, okay? And I just like to look put together at all times. Even if I have on sneakers, I still want to look put together, regardless. So, that's my quick little tip about tailoring, guys. Um, I haven't talked to you guys about my Invisalign. So, this is week 14. I'm probably talking so funny. It doesn't hurt. However, on the side here, I can't even pull them out. Um, they gave me a file to file it down, but it's not, I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it's that. I just think that it was like position weird in my mouth, but it's like hurting my cheek a little bit. Um, but other than that, still no pain. I do see my teeth shifting, shifting. <laughs> um, so I'll probably do a full on video in a, probably the next couple of trays. Just give it some time. Um, and then give you guys a rundown. I'm almost done. I have 25 trays. The last five trays are retainers. Um, but I think I am going to get some more trays. I'm almost 100% sure. Maybe I'll go up to December. Um, maybe January. <laughs> um, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. But that's a little quick update, guys. Still going good with them. No real pain. I only had pain probably two separate trays the most so far um and the one that was hurting the top I, I see that my tooth is like straight like literally so we shall see guys we shall see I guess people who had Invisalign was saying that their teeth were hurting a lot I don't feel it I don't feel it not like that guys I I, I can count the two times that I did have the issue um well two two different trays but one time it was like three days but other than that, everything is going good, guys. So that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about was quick tailoring and try to get you a tailor if you are trying to elevate your wardrobe as far as like how it fits your body. I was just looking at some stuff here to see what I have. Um, if you wanted to like elevate your body or whatever, I mean elevate your look and the clothes that how they fit on your body. So if you have never used a tailor, comment below. If you are interested in using a tailor and want to know more about it, comment below. I can definitely do another video on other things that you should look for when, or questions you should ask them when you are looking for one. Um, and in your area, just, just try to find one that listens to your needs. Okay, guys? So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC is my personal page and the other one's my business page and my website, CocoStylesNY.com, my style services, guys, and Coco Styles NYC is my blog for styling, guys. Well, my style blog for tall women or whatever. Um, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.